Hey everyone, Geo Badger here bringing you guys another caching related video. And today, wow, that's just sad. Wow, right into the start of the video. Someone came out here and dumped some mattresses and a couch. Ridiculous. Just absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, guys, I'm out here in this field again. If you guys can recall, this field is the field I had to go through to get to that hill over there to find that one cache that was a. Uh, wasn't the, wasn't as described if you guys can remember from that video I believe it was uh caching with badger three can't remember i'll probably post a link of it a link of it anyways we're back in that back in this field sorry for the wind guys hopefully you guys can hear me i'll, I'll just try to speak a little bit louder but anyway today we're not hunting for a cache in this field oh, flies wind my flies wind my nose anyways i'm here to make a another hide um i think i'm gonna keep the hide videos separate from the caching with badgers so the hides will be uh be uh, ready for you guys to view uh maybe a couple days after the first person actually to find it uh, i think that's the way i'm gonna go i go with that so you guys see this video will be a couple days from now Anyways, so when I was out here heading up to that hill, I had found this nice little rocky area, which I thought would be good to hide this cache at, but I lost the coordinates to it. So I'm out here blindly walking, hopefully, hoping I will find it. Um, even if I don't find it, there's no doubt and I won't find anywhere else to hide these things. I mean, there's lots of good little places around here. Last time I was out here, same thing. Someone's dog is barking in the background. Wow. This looks like a... Uh, looks like water comes down off here. Probably don't want to put it down here. Anyways, as always, guys. Uh, I'm not going to bore you to death with uh, useless chat, uh, chatter and banner, so... Go ahead and walk a few what yards mile maybe i don't know we'll just walk until we see something until we see something where i can feel like a torn up shoes over here again i'm sorry for the wind it seems the wind just picked up right when i started uh heading out here Wow, that's a nice looking rock. Wow, that's really nice. I don't, I don't think I can carry it with me right now. I might come back for this. Hmm. I'll leave it somewhere. I'll come back through here. I'll leave that sitting there. All right. I do remember that I went that way. Oh wow. Okay, so the battery on the camera is low. I thought I charged it. Probably need a new uh, buy a new battery. This one's a couple years old. So I'll tell you what guys. I'm gonna end the video here for now. I'm gonna go find a spot to hide this and uh I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, I'm back. So, I found this rock. This actually, oh, sorry about the wind once again. This is not the uh, rock, this is not the location I was looking for, but this actually will work out. Um, I don't know, I just, I found it attractive for some reason. So, here's the cache I'm hiding. It's a, it's a wooden box, pretty much. I mean, I made, I had to make it myself. But um, has some hinges on the back. As you can see, it has this locking mechanism I had worked up. It's one of the reasons why it took me so long to sit there and deploy this one, because I was working on this uh, locking mechanism. Just last minute alterations. So you'll, the cashier who finds it will have to unscrew it, Oop. and remove this bolt. Uh, bear with me here, guys. And it opens up like a book. Here's the container. 
this is a wood nymph I made. As you can see, she has little items inside. It's a little wood, it's a wood nymph. And uh, I decided to name her uh, Galatea, which is a Greek name for a, uh, a wood nymph, apparently, from what I researched. So, have the geocaching uh, note in there. And then shuts like so. And that screws back in. Not too tight, so they don't have to use tools, but just tight enough to close it, you know? Okay. So here's the setup. I know I'm speaking kind of loudly it's because of the wind, so you guys can be able to hear me. But here's the setup. It's gonna go inside here alongside these two uh, boulders. Well, these, these two rocks, that one and the boulder, of course. And I'm gonna get it all set up. All right, guys, be right back. And once again, guys, the uh, reoccurring gag on these videos is that I keep forgetting to bring my gloves. And <laughs> so I just uh, get myself a nice little there putting these rocks back together so anyways here's the uh, hide as you can see just a couple stones underneath is the is the uh, wooden box just a couple stones on top I think that right there will give enough camouflage a little bit more protection from the elements and you know of course that will hide it from you know any any uh any muggles lurking by but I don't think you have to worry about that being coming out this way I mean there's lots of trails of course but none of them come through this area and the likelihood of someone wanting to venture venture off this trail just to come by this rock it's pretty low so i think we got a good hide here all right guys so i want to thank you guys for joining me on this uh this hiding adventure oh, that sounds sounds weird to say but i want to thank you guys for joining me today on this one and uh i'll see you guys soon